Hello YouTube, Gbo Unit here, and I wanted to do an update on the Mosa Nagant. Uh, my last video, I unboxed it, and it was covered in cosmoline, and you know, of course, I had to break it down and clean it up. So, I don't have a good camera where I can do stop start, and you know, well, here it is before, and here it is after, and you know, so I'm just gonna do it straight up from here. Um, I already broke it down and cleaned it up. So, let me just briefly tell you what I did. So. I took the gun apart. Here's all the metal pieces right here. Pretty simple. Um, also, wanted to show that um, I do have the receiver here. Here's the receiver. Got it all cleaned off. Look at that muzzle. Nice. And uh, here's the receiver right here. Got it cleaned off. All lubed up. Okay. Parts are working real well just like brand new and so um, with the metal pieces I used Simple Green okay Simple Green's real good to use it's a, it is a degreaser and I used boiling water uh, what I did is I used a big plastic tub put boiling water in it and I dumped some Simple Green inside uh, in the water and you could see you know I didn't use very much at all so uh, and I submerged all the metal pieces here in that tub um, with the receiver I ended up just putting it in the corner of the tub and I would just put water on it you know the simple green stuff and I would I would scrub and take time scrubbing this thing off so um, basically all I used was a brush like this and you can see it's kinda of stained up with cosmoline but um, all I did is I took each of the pieces, you know, and I scrubbed each one of them and left them in the, the uh, simple green and water and rinsed everything off and they came out great. So what I ended up doing uh, to further clean it is I used some oil from my uh, gun cleaning kit and let me just show you. Um, I did use CLP uh, break free. So what I, you know, this is good stuff, you know, I use that to, to, to um, kind of clean off the, the metal pieces at first because the, the product that I'm sold on is Ballastol. This is the stuff that I really like, but I wanted to use a CLP break free because I'm not going to use it very often anyway because of Ballastol. So what I did, I used a CLP to clean up, to pre-clean everything, wipe it all down, including the barrel. I did use, you know, this is the cleaning rod. I did use um, the cleaning kit that came with the rifle, clean out the barrel, and it worked pretty well. And um, uh, after doing that, I went ahead, wiped them down, and then I treated all the metal with ballastol. What I did is I ran wet patches through the barrel. After I did that, I treated all of these things, wetted down, wiped down all the metal pieces with ballastol, so that, uh, you know, according to the directions and the write-up on ballastol, it it uh, well maybe with any oil, but particularly ballastol, um, it'll it'll find all the cracks and crevices uh, microscopically, bond with the metal, and make a protective coating and covering of the metal, help prevent corrosion. So that's what I did with these. I kept all this wet and you know with ballastol. When it comes time to putting this together, I'll wipe everything off, do minimal lube, and put the rifle back together. Okay, so next piece. Um, well, I won't go over it. Well, I did. You know, just wanted to show that I did also treat the leather with ballastol. Um, I've got this is kind of cool. Um, a lot of people who got their Mosin Nagants the got two of these pouches. Okay, two sets of these. Um, I happen to get one of these and one of these. So uh, they do match. They do seem to go together, and uh, it's cool. Um, this one I just use this for uh, my tool kit and oiler can. Um, I did get that oiler can cleaned off. It was full of ballastol. I mean, full of uh, cosmoline, and um, got that cleaned off. And I filled the two chambers, one side with CLP and the other side with ballastol. Why? Because what am I going to use the oiler can for anyway? So, got it in here. This one is empty. Uh, like I said, I'll use this for ammunition uh, with the stripper clips. I don't know how many or how it'll fit in here, but I'll figure that out. 
Okay, so, all right. So now the metal pieces are treated. Um, I went ahead and cleaned the stock. Uh, I did see another video. I, I used that same plastic vat filled with boiling water, but I did not use Simple Green. No, uh, I didn't see a single video or a single recommendation to use this on wood. Uh, so I did not use that. But what was recommended is cred cutter. So this is what I used. You can get this at Lowe's. That's where I picked mine up, and um, and I just followed the directions on there. I you know put the steaming water in, put the stock, you know the the wood on top of the wa of the water, kind of wet it down, sprayed crud cleaner or crud cutter all over it, and then you know I used an iron to end an old sock, put the sock on top of the, the wood, and then I would iron it, okay? And it, the extra heat and steam helped to break up the finish and whatever cosmoline and gunk was on it. And I was able to use a sponge like this. This is all jacked up now, but um, just a simple one like this, and I used it to scrub the finish down. And I was real careful if you have a brand new one, be real careful because it's real stiff and you know it's abrasive. So you just have to make sure you scrub it enough to get the finish off and get it down to the bare wood. So this is what it actually looks like now. So if you remember the last video, it was dark and actually looked nice, but it was all greasy feeling because of the cosmoline, and it was all in the wood. So here's you know this is the the upper part right here, ahead of the forearm. And let me show you the stock real quick. Stock is down to the bare wood. Um, and I'm glad that these metal clips cleaned off and did not fall apart or disintegrate. So, um, got that. Same thing here. Metal pieces are there. It's great. Here are the the spring, uh, the, the metal springs for the um, for the retention rings to hold the, the barrel assembly in here. Look at that. Got it cleaned out pretty well. And uh, the stock is down to the bare bones. So of course, if you've got a discerning eye, you'll see like little things like that. There's little remnants, little holdouts of finish on here. I will get rid of that with a little bit of sanding with double lot um, steel wool. Um, I've seen videos where this is recommended and I know that this is recommended in between finishes when you're staining or you know putting polyurethane finishes on it but also I was also seeing that this is pretty good on wood because it doesn't scrape it and take a lot of wood off. I don't want to do that I just want to minimally scrape some of that stuff off so I'm, I won't have to do too much. I'll probably go over the whole thing just to smooth it out but man it's it's pretty smooth right now as it is but I will go over it um, what I will do is I have seen videos on staining and putting polyurethane on it um, but I changed my mind I'm going to try and use this I'm going to use this stuff called Watco Danish oil it's a finish and it stains seals and protects Penetrates deeply, will not crack, chip, or peel. Okay, all right. So hopefully the stuff will work. You know, um, it was recommended. Uh, I told the guy at Lowe's what I was thinking about doing, and he recommended this stuff because um, I want to the wood. I want. I don't want a shiny um, finish yet. I want to see what this is like with just a natural wood feel. Um, and I could al he said that I could always use this and still put a polyurethane coat on top of it if I wanted. But uh, this is a dark walnut, so it is going to darken the wood. Um, it's supposed to sink into the wood and harden inside, so thus sealing the wood after penetrating it. it says it hardens in the wood, not on top of the wood. So that means that um, you know it's going to hopefully sink in and make a solid shell. So it says that. Um, in the future that you can reapply this so what I'm you know I'll probably do that but what I'm hoping to do and I don't know if this is right or not but I'm gonna treat it with ballastol as well 
and um, you know, it the write up says that ballastol is good for wood as well as metal and plastic and leather and you know all these other finishes, and it says particularly firearm stocks. So. Um, I don't know exactly what I'll do, but I know for sure the first thing I'll go on here is this stuff. You know, I thought about putting this on first and then this, but I don't know if this will, t you know, will sink in and do its job because of this. Um, so I'll, I'm, I'm going to use this first, see what happens. So anyway, um, hope that was informative. Um, I will make another video. Uh, probably of uh, putting it together or showing what the stock looks like after I stain it. So anyway, hope that that was uh, informative and I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Take care.